Hey, what is going on you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape and welcome to a brand new loot video for you all today. So you all asked for it. A lot of you guys wanted to see this one. This is going to be loot from 10 hours of Barrows. Now, since my last Barrows video on this channel, some prices for certain pieces have gone way up. So the goal for this one is to make as much money as possible as well as get as many Elite Clue Scrolls as possible because I will be pausing the timer for every elite clue scroll. The gear for this video is a set of Max Mage as well as a Trident of the Swamp E with 8,000 charges total. And a big thank you to my girlfriend for loaning me an ancestral set. I did not want to spend 260 mil for uh, just 10 hours of barrows. That's a lot of money and most of my money is in other things right now. So a huge thank you to her and that uh, little gauntlet pet behind her as well. Mentioned that in the uh, Corrupted Gauntlet video. Now the inventory for this one is pretty basic. The imbued heart, very important, uh, teleports to Barrows directly, as well as a quick little melee switch for Arams and, of course, for getting kill count. The Fang worked really well on Arams. Combine that with the Dragon Claw special, and I would kill him in no time at all. And whenever I would go down to the crypts, I would always kill three skeletons and get 88%. You don't have to do this method, though. Uh, there is different methods to getting uh, different percentages based on what you want to get, but I've just always started with the three skeleton method, so it worked out pretty well for me. And what you're seeing on screen here is just how I do a simple Barrows rotation. As you can see, I haven't been in here in quite some time because I've been unlocking uh, combat achievements, you know, as I kind of re-enter this after all these months. And I did have a DH tunnel, but yeah, I mean, mainly it's pretty easy to explain. I just use a trident with this full max mage setup so that I can maximize my DPS. This combined with the imbued heart makes my accuracy perfect. And the only debatable brother that I'd say that you can use melee or magic on would be carols but in the long run after trying out the fang or the trident on him i would really say that magic worked just a little bit better but that is all optional you can definitely try out different things for carols but as it goes for everything else besides carols and arums uh definitely using the trident there would make it very quick and yeah i would kill these brothers in no time all of these barrows brothers and uh yeah a couple of misclicks there but you guys get the point this was basically how i went about uh, my rotation and when I entered the crypts, I actually had an accessible door that didn't require me to use my strange old lockpicks. These strange old lockpicks are vital though because they can open up any door that you can't access underneath the uh, Barrows Brothers, underneath the mounds, I should say. And they are less than 100k a piece right now, so they're very beneficial. They will last you a long time, and I promise you, you'll definitely make your money back really quickly, maybe even in the first chest. So definitely worth bringing if you have access to them. One thing that I could have done in instead of using the fang for getting kill count is I could have just kept the trident on and I could have just killed all three skeletons with magic. I mean, it would have been faster, but I would have spent a lot more on supplies. So I figured it was worth just using melee down here. And later on in the video, I did uh, get more melee switches. For example, you know, sometimes I'd bring a fire cape or primordial boots and things like that so that I'd hit just a little bit higher and it would be uh, much faster to get those skeletons killed. But coming into this video, I was already close and definitely now over 3,000 1,300 Barrows kill count with all of the uh, collection log slots filled, so I didn't really have too much of a goal here. Really, this was just to make money and get elite clue scrolls. My luck was definitely not there in the beginning. I was 25 dry, getting upwards of 30 chest dry just when I first started, so I was kind of upset about that because I've always had very good luck here. I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate, or maybe you can't relate. Make sure to leave it in the comment section below if you've had uh, excellent luck luck here or an insane dry streak. I am very curious to see that. Love reading the comments. Don't sleep December uh, day two. I mean, technically it's day three, but anyway, there's a Carol skirt finally breaking that 30 plus dry streak. 452k from that one. Actually, that took an hour and 40 minutes to get, so wow, that was rough on uh, the first item, but following the uh, Carol's skirt. We did receive an elite clue scroll about two hours into the video, so that's awesome. And just a quick little piece of advice, just like uh, myself here, I did forget my spade, and if you do forget it, they have plenty of spades right outside the Barrow's Mounds. All right, almost 10 chests later, we do receive the Torag's helmet. That's pretty iconic for me, considering it's uh, what I wear in my YouTube avatar picture, so yeah, I will take it. Following that, ladies and gentlemen, I did receive an elite clue scroll, and this one required a music track 
track that I did not have access to, and similar to the fighter torso step with master clues that I don't have, I wanted to make sure that I did this quest. So what you're looking at here is the completion of Beneath Cursed Sands. I did receive 50k agility XP, getting up to 16 million total, which is great. And I unlocked the new music track, The Pharaoh. Yeah, unfortunately, I did die during that quest, but you know, I don't do quests that often, so yeah, that wasn't too experienced. Kind of have a problem of never wanting to watch guides. That's that's one of my big flaws in this game. But either way, I did complete the elite clue, so I was really excited about that, and another quest completed as well. Following that, I did get another elite clue, and this was done much easier compared to the last one. So, yeah, seven hours left at this point. Two items so far, and what a shock. Yet again, another elite just at hour seven uh left in the video. So that is now four elite clue caskets. Definitely stacking up really nice so far. And if you're curious why those runes are stacking up so generously in the bottom left of the inventory, that is because I do have the more Tanya Hard Diaries complete and I do receive 50% more runes at Barrows. I would strongly recommend you do this. Uh, you'll make a lot more profit. Uh, completely optional of course. It's kind of like uh, killing Dagoneth Kings without the Noted Bones compared to with the Noted Bones. It's really up to you, but you'll definitely make more money. So we did get another elite clue scroll. Uh, following that elite clue, I have actually broke my dry streak and I did receive a Verox Helm. Used to be worth much more money, but uh, you know, it's, it's still something, so I will take it. And following that Verox Helm, just a little bit later, I did receive a Torag's Plate Body. Uh, at this point in the video, I had about six hours left to go. Um, yeah, I was pretty dry. I was going about one hour in between items uh, pretty often. And yeah, I was just getting all the wrong items, to be completely honest. You know, I mentioned in the beginning of the video that some of these items went up a lot, and uh, specifically I was talking about Aram's pieces, the rope top and the rope skirt, Carol's top, as well as DH plate body. You know, all the things that I wasn't getting, so you know, I was I was really waiting for it. Over 100 chests in, and what you're about to see is a first for me, ladies and gentlemen, a triple Barrow's chest featuring the Aram staff, the iconic Zorag's helmet, and the Guthans plate body. Yeah, I was stunned. I've done over 3,000, close to 3,400 Barrow's chests, and I've had multiple double uh, chest rewards where I'd get two items in one, but this is the first ever time I got three items in one. Not sure how rare that is. If you do know the statistic number, let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it. I just did not Google it myself. Laziness, I know, I know. Anyway, we did receive another item after that, this one being the Carol's crossbow. So I was getting a little hopeful, you know, we were definitely past the halfway point, so I was really hoping to turn this luck around, get uh, something expensive. With three hours left to go, our next item was, yet again, another Torag's helmet. Maybe I should change my uh, picture on YouTube to a set of full Arams. It might have brought me some more luck. Either that or the fact that I was in uh, 2,200 total level worlds for like 95% of this video and I was alone most of the time. So I don't know. Maybe there was just not enough people searching these chests alongside me because the next item I did receive was Torax Hammers. Yeah, I don't know, guys. I you know I was really excited about this video and, and uh, gosh, I just can't seem to get the items that I'm wanting. But I feel like a lot of people have this problem at Barrows. Uh, following the Torag hammers, I got another duplicate of Torag plate body. Looks like Torag's giving me a lot of favoritism here, and I don't like it one bit, but that's okay. Uh, we had one hour left at this point, and I did receive, uh, you know, the second best item so far behind the Carol skirt, and that would be the Guthans helmet. Haven't really seen an elite clue scroll in quite some time, so I did return to the Barrows chests, and with 30 minutes left to go, about 32 minutes, I did receive another elite, and luckily I had no problem with this one. Following that, uh, I did receive 153 million HP experience and yet again, another elite clue, this time with 15 minutes left. I really liked how I was pausing the timer for the elites because it just brought me a lot more profit at the end. But of course, I guess you could say technically it wasn't 10 hours then, but you know, that's okay. It's definitely 10 hours of barrows, but all the elites are just extra at this point. All right, so we have one chest left. The 10 hour timer has just ran out. I did complete 10 hours of killing Kurosks on my Iron Man at the same time of doing this video, so you guys will see that video tomorrow night, hopefully. And unfortunately, nothing crazy from our last chest, uh, so now it's time to do the price check. I'll make sure to price check all of the runes, the bolt racks, and the coins separately, and then we'll go ahead and add the items onto that. Overall, 175 chests in 10 hours. I would definitely say that's a new best for me, but that's because of the max mage setup. Definitely the DPS will determine 
determine how many chests you get. But overall, it looks like we made about 8 mil flat just from all of the runes, the racks, and the coins. And then we get about 10.8 mil once we include all of those items. So the items really weren't worth too much, but, uh, you know, they still did add a small amount to the price check, which did bring me over 1 mil an hour. I did use about 5,000 charges from my trident, which cost 2.3 mil combined with 300k from four strange old lockpicks, so 2.6 mil in supplies, overall profit 8.2 mil. Just looking at what we could have gotten, the Aram skirt 3.5, the rope top 4 mil, Carol's top 2 mil, DH plate body 1 mil. So just honestly the wrong kind of luck in this video, could have been much, much more. So I would say I had the wrong luck as it goes for items, but either way, still really good profit in hours. So I mean, it's just up from here if you think about it that way. But opening up these elites, we had uh, two average rewards following that 639k from this one sagacious spectacles first time seeing that item but it was a new collection log slot so that's great following that we did get a giant boot 176k from that and a dragon scimitar ornament kit 462k from that with a master clue now i did promise you guys if i get a torso step i will pause and i will go get a fighter torso so don't mind me just begging fallow the bard here to not give me that step and, uh, of course, I kept getting follow the bard step, so I was getting really, really antsy. It was like 9 a.m. at this point, and I had been up all night, so I did not want to go do uh, Barbarian Assault right now. Fortunately, I did not have to for that master clue. Opening up the next elite, I did receive another master clue. So, here we go again with follow the bard. Um, fortunately, we lucked out again, ladies and gentlemen. So, you won't see the fighter torso in this video. Maybe, though, in the next one you will. All right, let's wrap this one up. So the last elite clue, another 226k. Honestly, above average rewards from all of these elites. Two mil exactly was made from the elite clues. Now we have two masters left to open. I feel like this will take care of the supply cost. So that 10.8 mil is all profit at this point. 313k followed by 500k. So 2.8 mil from the clues. 13.5 mil from 10 hours of barrows. Over 1 mil an hour, even after the supply costs. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching the video. I will see you tomorrow with 10 hours of Kurosks. This one was supposed to be sponsored by Opera GX, but I did not feel like waiting to get a response back to get the approval. So no sponsor in this one. I'll probably throw that in the next main related video in 48 hours from now, so that'll be awesome. Hopefully you guys will check that out. If you want to join the membership, I did just enable that. It is $4.99 a month for the lowest tier, then it goes up from there. It's not necessary, but I did want to remind you guys that I did just activate it. But either way, you guys are awesome. I really appreciate the continued support throughout this last month, and uh, you know we're just continuing in December. Don't Sleep December has been successful so far, but we have a long way to go. If you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see next, I will do it. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. No Sleep, out.